All right, hi, this is James with the One Hour Smart Home, and today we are gonna show you how to check to see if the power is on using a non-contact voltage meter. So these things are really handy uh, for anyone that's working with electrical, if you're DIYer, or if you just wanna be safer, um, these are great. So uh, the first thing you do is you just gotta turn this thing on, uh, you hold the power button, and then you get the NCV. So I actually, this is a live circuit. This is just a typical light switch circuit, and I'm gonna show you kind of how this works. So I actually have the light switch off right now. So let's just take a reading over here where there is no power, okay? See, I'm not getting anything, right? Okay, nothing. The light switch is off, okay? Everything's good. So let's, uh, the, let's now check the light switch because there is live power going into it. Will I get a reading? Let's see. There we go. I am getting a reading. You can see the low is beeping. It's making a noise. That does mean there is power going to this light switch. Okay. So uh, let's see if we can check a junction box now. Okay. Um, there we go. So without even opening it up, I am getting a reading that the junction box does have power. Okay. So that's good to know. I know that this circuit right now is live. And I'm just going to show you a, a better way to get in there and really test it. I'm going to take the cover off. Um, obviously, when working with live power, you want to make sure you don't like put your screwdriver down in the junction box or any of that stuff. Um, and you want to be careful. But uh, ideally, when you're testing the power, you really do need to have the cover off so you can really get down in there. And I'm going to show you something else. Let's see. Will it detect live power in a wire? Yep, it will. Okay, so that's really useful if you're doing remodeling and you've got walls open and you wanna know, is that electrical wire live so that you don't hit it? So we get a reading there, we get a reading there, we get a reading there. Now let's see what happens when I put this down into the junction box. See how I get a reading here? It's a better reading, now I'm getting two. So just like this is gonna allow you to check the power, okay? All right, so let's go down there again. All right, I got a reading there, I got a reading there. It's low, but I'm still getting it. All right, so you wanna check, you know, all throughout the uh, circuit, the top, the bottom, make sure that you are getting that reading. Do I get one there? Nope, but I do get it on the side. And the reason for that is, that is where those terminals are for the light switch. Moose, don't uh, stay out of the picture here. That's my dog here. I didn't wanna make sure he stays away from the electrical wiring. Okay, now we're gonna turn on the light switch. Okay, and we're going to, this is a smart light bulb, so it always does that, but we're gonna check if we can actually see, okay, yeah, it will detect it on a light bulb. You can see it there. Now let's see, will it detect it on an outlet? Yep, we're getting detection there on the outlet, so that works, you can hear it. And then let's just go back to the light switch now, see if we can get a detection. There we go, we are getting detection there. It is stronger when you have the light switch on. Uh, just something to note, we'll turn the light switch back off and uh, you can see the detection again. There we go. We are detecting and then we'll just do this wire here. You can see that uh, we are getting some detection on those wires there. So that is always good to know how you can use this. Uh, thank you. Please enjoy this video. Highly recommend getting a um, non-contact voltage meter like this. This is a little bit older model, but we'll uh, we'll uh, put a recommendation, a link down below for one that's very similar. This one's from Klein. Klein's a well-known electrical brand, um, electrical tools. So uh, we'll put a link below in the uh, description. Uh, please subscribe, like this video, check us out at onehoursmarthome.com, and uh, you can support us by clicking on any of the links below. Thank you. Bye.